What's going on everyone? It's EK here and today I'm coming with you with another Call of Duty fix. Now, let me describe the situation for you. Let's say you're you just started playing Black Ops 6, you go into the game, you change all your settings to the way you like it, you know, you change your graphics profiles, you change your controller settings, everything sound whatever. You set it the way you like, play the game a little bit, and then you get tired, you quit, and then you go take a rest. You come back, you open up the game, and oh look, everything that you changed is completely back to the way it was before. It did not actually save any of your changes. Now, what happened? So there's an issue, or not a really an issue, but there's a thing with Windows 10 and Windows 11 where they basically um, kind of block third-party access to a lot of your folders. So... Um, and it's dealing with particularly with ransomware, with the ransomware protection. So this is not just actually a unique thing to just Call of Duty. It can happen to a lot of different games. So um, if you're finding this problem in not just Call of Duty, but other games, this is how you basically solve for that. But right for today, we're just going to mainly um, talk about Call of Duty. So again this is where your settings and stuff are not saving now there are a lot of videos out there who talk about like uh, you know changing certain files and stuff but like you don't really need to do that because you can just do this so first off ransomware let's go straight to it so you open up your start menu you search for ransomware as you can see i already found or i already searched for it today so you go to you bring up ransomware protection from here, you, I personally just turn this sucker off and call it a day. I don't really need anything else. Um, I don't really need this on. Like, unless you're going to some really shady sites or something like that. Like, most people don't really need ransomware protection. But in, in case you want to, you know, leave this on because you feel more protected, then that's totally fine too. Um, what you do now is you go to... Um, block history so block when you uh when you click through that for me i have nothing because it hasn't been blocking anything but um what you will basically see here is a list of applications or apps or programs whatever you want to call it that's been recently blocked and you should see call of duty as one of them you should see something like sp24 dash something cod.exe or something and that's been blocked so what you want to do is unblock it so you would click it and tell it to unblock in the chance that you don't have a block history for whatever reason and it's still happening then you just go to allow an app through controlled folder access you hit on it the yes and then you allow add an allowed app so you add so again you can just go to recently blocked apps you know and in, this, in my case i don't have any but you can just go browse all apps and then you go look for where you installed uh, Call of Duty and put the executable. And then that's how you add the app. Now, let's say you didn't know where the heck you installed your Call of Duty or you're not exactly sure which file it is, um, you know, in terms of where you, which one you actually add to this. Um, in some cases, you just add every executable and then you're good to go. But in case you just want to add not all of them and go through like, you know, thousand files and folders or something, this is how you look for where you installed your app. All right. So first, we're just going to close this out. So first things first, I'm the realist. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's go through Steam. So Steam. Okay. I don't have Call of Duty on Steam, um, but this is basically the same thing that, um, in terms of the process so you go to so you would look normally look for call of duty i'm just going to go to warhammer but pretend this is call of duty so you would right click on the game go to manage and browse local files this will take you to where you install the game now um and so and then you would add these add the main executable which for warhammer it's warhammer 40k space marine 2 but you would just add this as the executable and now it will ransomware will stop blocking it. So you add this, you can maybe add that to just, you know, if you feel like it, but generally if you just add this, it'll, it'll be done. So that's how you do from steam. Now if you, from BattleNet, this is where it's going to be um, a little more applicable. So, 
or for those of you who play on Battle.net at least. Okay, so you go to your Call of Duty tab, you click on Options, Show in Explorer. This will bring you to the main Call of Duty folder, but it's not gonna make, take you to the main Call of Duty uh, executable. So you could, so one, you do wanna add this, the launcher just as well. Um, but then where you want to go next is go to Retail, and then scroll down and add all these executables. COD, um, this is going to be your main um, file that is actually executing and actually, you know, throwing out there or that is going to be launching. So you want to add this. I would just throw in Crash Handler just for the hell of it, um, just in case. But that's the main file you want to actually add is the main executable here for Call of Duty. So this will sh hopefully help you. Um, uh, prevent this issue. One more is in case you're playing on a uh, game pass uh, for uh, basically Xbox for PC. So that's exactly what I'm playing on currently for the call of duty uh, for black ops six, just the campaign. So if you were in here, same thing, a uh, very similar situation or similar um, process. You go to your call of duty, right click, manage and then you click on the files tab and this will tell you exactly where you installed um call of duty and you hit browse and it'll take you straight to it call of duty content uh and in this case for for black ops it's under sp24 and you want to scroll all the way down to COD 20 um, to an executable. In case you have to search for it, you just do, this is the um, actual uh, Call of Duty executable. So uh, in the case that you can't actually find what you're looking for, this is the exact file at the executable. Just search for it inside your uh, browse or not browser, but inside your finder, um, window and then once it finds it you just want to open or open file location to find it exactly where it is so here's the actual um, sp24-cod it doesn't have .exe because it's not doesn't have to show but it's the application file this is the, the essentially the executable you want to add to ransomware in case you want to um, so in order to unblock it, in case you want to leave ransomware on. After you've done that, go back into COD, change your settings, exit, come back out, um, and then go back in into the game to see if it worked. Now, this should take care of it. In the chance that it does not take care of it, um, you're going to have to do a little bit more in terms of editing some of the documents, which I... Don't really recommend um, in this case. Uh, I would just, <clears throat> I wouldn't really go into that because, you know, for me, I'm, I'm not too confident. But if you are, that's totally fine if you are. But if, if in the case that it just doesn't um, do what it's supposed to do, I would just go to ransomware and I just turn it off. Honestly, like unless, like I said before, unless you're just doing some really weird stuff on the internet, like chances are ransomware is not gonna, like you're not gonna, the Windows Defender is gonna do just fine in terms of protecting your computer and turning this off is not really gonna be big, that big of an issue. So, um, but you, if you, again, if you want to, you can just leave it on and just go through the process. But anyways, let me know if this guy's, if this process is helping you. Uh, put in the comments. If it's not, I'll try to find a solution for you. Um, but yeah, please give this video a like and I'll see you guys on COD. Take it easy.